Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is another tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to conduct a model analysis on a uh, uh, cooling tower using SAP software. In the previous, I have uh, created the modeling part. In this part, we will conduct a, a defining section and also uh, considering a model analysis. Uh, just select one of the shell elements and you can uh, right click and see what is that shell. So this is a shell element AAC. So just I'm going to define, go to the define and the section. Here is called area section. And I want to change that shell modify to uh, using membrane and bending elements to uh, one meter uh, or uh, 80 centimeters. Um, the material is using concrete. So I'm going to select uh, add new material using uh, concrete and I'm going to use uh, the lightweight concrete 60. Now you can select here. So it's okay and uh, next I want to uh, change the beam cross section. So I'm going to select it here. It's F is or F section. So I'm going to go to define section and you know, frame section, and I'm going to add new section. So this time I used uh, concrete using circular. So the circular is called uh, the diameter is. Uh, let's, uh, let me show you one example. Here is a research. Uh, which is almost the same and I'm going to use uh, the techniques the size of the column which is used in this study uh, now uh, let's uh, go to here here is the thickness of column height and the number of column and the column diameter so the column diameter is 0 0.7 so it become 1.4 meters diameter now I can use this one the diameter is 0 0.7 so mine is a little larger so I will take the same thickness with as a shell so it's 1.0.8 the material we're using is the previous lightweight material now okay and um, here in the select I go to select here I call properties frame section so I want to select uh, the previous one here now I want to add it my own properties. So I'm going to column or C. So now it is it. Now you can see the uh, we can use this uh, option, this one and close to here. And we can see the column. If I go to uh, use extrusion, and you can comes to here and use extrusion. Say OK, and you can see the column. Uh, now uh, the next we go to the uh, define. In the define, we want to consider the mass sources. So we will not adding any uh, extra life load, and just we will take the self load of the structure. So we can go to a modify and it's called elements self mass and additional load. Uh, so that's the self load we're not going if you consider just good the data load is 100 percent of the structure load now we go to the define here in the load cases in the load cases we already have data load and we have model in the model we have two kind of uh, uh, mode analysis so one is eigenvector and one is race so I prefer to use rate factor and uh, this is the height of the structure is uh, about 162 uh, uh, meters so very quite high and the number of mode is depending to the height of the uh, height of or number of stories so the number of stories is uh, almost there is two because the shape of hyperbolic is changing in two point one is the bottom and one is in the top uh, if I go back to here 
so that 10 mode shape is okay so that 10 mode shape can participate in all uh, uh, can get the all directions so i'm going to add it acceleration in the x and acceleration in the y add two eyes and this time changing the uh, y uh, just modifying is so i consider 99 percent so in this 10 mode it can reach to 99 but uh, for that uh, to 90 is enough which is the code required to be over 85 and the last one is also 90 sometimes we can't reach that 99 so it's 19 is okay now uh, we don't have anything else so the uh, so we're not considering the nonlinear analysis just a model and I'm okay and okay now we can go to run the model and run it So we didn't create any mesh because the shell distribution is quite least so 10 meters 10 meters so uh, that's okay in case if i create more uh, fine mesh so it take more times so now the analysis is completed this is the deformed shape and into 3d and i go to the see some deformation here and it is uh, this meters so when I'm going to show millimeter um, uh, millimeter and you can see here uh, so this is about uh, less than one millimeter in the Z is 21 millimeter so the deformation is not quite too large but uh, we're gonna see the uh, mood shape and here is the date load and i'm going to consider a model and using mode and also drawing some contour in the x and the y we also we don't have any edge property to see the uh, life safety or immediate occupancy and we can go to here okay and this is the first mode shape the first mode shape a uh, time period is 0 0.7 second so approximately it's uh, okay and we can go to the display option and let's show the table and here is called uh, structure output and it's called model information and i'm going to uh, model load participation and we need to see uh, mass participation and also that's okay now we can see in that uh, 20 node, uh, it didn't reach to 90%. So what, what we should do, well, we need to uh, increase the number of mood shape to reach that uh, at least uh, 60%, uh, 85%. So what we're going to do is I'm going to unlock the model and go to define again. Uh, go to define again and here in the load case and I'm going to show model and this time I'm going to use 20 mode shape now it's okay and rerun the model uh, it's completed and it is uh, the uh, time period is uh, 1.12 second so this is 100 uh, 160 so this is uh, almost uh, acceptable if in case if you want to uh, uh, use uh, that equation uh, 0 0.1 0 0.1 times uh, n which is the number of story so this is okay because it's almost uh, uh, one story here and one story here and one story here total three story and we can go to the again to the display option and show table and I'm going to OK and we want to see the mass participation uh, mass participation 
yes and the mass participation is uh, ux Yeah, it's reached uh, in the mood, uh, which mood? This mood is completed. Uh, in the mood, uh, let's see, we had 10 mood shape, but in the 10 mood didn't finish, in this mood is completed. So now it's 100%, 100% 100% from this here to 8 to uh, from the 6 is completed. So this is 100% of uh, mass participation. Uh, in the previous 10, uh, it didn't complete it. So we can say it is now model analysis completed. So the first mode shape is I'm going to show uh, 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 animation. So this is the first mode animation. And I can go to the second mode. Uh, this is the second mode shape. So one was in the in this direction, which is X, and other is Y. Now, what I'm going to uh, uh, comes to display, and in here is also okay. We can go here, and here show the contour, and also uh, I want to okay. Now it's showing showing. We can see get the maximum uh, displacement. So the maximum displacement is uh, minus 8. So minus 8, we can go to select one node and see it. So this is in U1, in U1. So in the X direction, so this one. And in the first mode, in the first mode, we can select this also negative uh, u1 and we can go to the other modes mode 2 mode 3 so this is mode 3 and we can see uh, the maximum is positive 7 Okay, now uh, we can also see the, some uh, stress or uh, um, shear force uh, across the beam columns and also actual force uh, from data load. So let's go to suppose uh, see the FE1. It's very least. Uh, we can go to uh, using this shell stress and I'm going to uh, in first direction and I'm going to second direction or we can use in the ace max uh, so now we can see the stress is quite less in the bottom here and here is list time but we use the uh, kilonewton so it's a little different i should use which we can get uh, megapascal and now you can see uh, 0.3 megapascal so the concrete is uh, 60 megapascal so very uh, less so why this structure is quite uh, sustainable for for with this very tall because the system hyperbolic system is quite uh, strong uh, structure. Uh, so this is uh, finished the model analysis and next uh, we will conduct a dynamic analysis. Uh, see you next time.